This is Investment Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Daily live streaming interactive featuring Mrs. Backup. Subscribe, hit the notification, smash the likes. Now, here's Backup Brad Kimes. Come on in. What's up, everybody? I'm Brad Kimes. Thanks for coming back to Investment Perspectives. I just wanted to make another pre-recorded video for you guys. I was sitting here looking through some news for the day before I had my live stream. And man, oh man, I tell you what a difference a day makes. You know, the title of this stream today is that I really do believe that XRP and the price we're looking for is going to come a lot sooner than any of us even think. I'm not trying to create hype, but I personally believe it's not going to take another three to five years for things to get to a place where we can enjoy the price that a lot of us really talk about a lot of times. And I know that that's relative to what individual you speak to. And I don't price predict on this channel, but I do know this. I want to show you some information now that uh, is, is really out here floating around that just starts to look like a real narrative developing to me. Uh, let, let's take a look at it. I want to share it with you now. So let's start with this. Thank you to XRP Crypto Wolf. U.S. Treasury Steve Mnuchin said he and the Fed Chair Jeremy, Jerome Powell don't expect the U.S. to create a digital currency. Now, we're going to talk about digital currency a little bit here just in this portion, but we're also going to talk about real-time payment settlement, real-time gross settlement, so RTGS. And, and RTP. So this could involve the Fed now, the domestic payment system, and the conversation could devolve, also is going to involve the RTGS, which is going to be your international payment system through uh, the central banks. So let's keep this going. So that's the first thing is a little bit of what I feel is FUD coming from Bloomberg saying, eh, we don't see a need for any of that right now. I don't believe them. I don't believe them, and I'm going to talk about why I don't believe them. So let's scroll down here, and let me see if I can find some. There's another piece of, oh, here we go, Bank XRP. And I also got this from uh, uh, um, Hiding Out Now as well. I want you to look at this. Just in, Federal Reserve joins the U.S. Faster Payments Council, which we know that they've been a part and commissioned the Federal Reserve Faster Payments Task Force, okay? So this is the Federal Reserve joins the U.S. Faster Payments Council. We are pleased to announce that the Federal Reserve System has joined the U.S. Faster Payments Council, FPC, as a founding sponsor. A full press release can be found here. You can click on it. FPC and its members seek to facilitate faster payments in the United States, enabling Americans to securely pay anyone, anywhere, at any time in the near immediate funds availability. The Federal Reserve helped facilitate the development of the FPC, convening the Faster Payments Task Force in 2015 and providing early support of the FPC's design and creation in 2018. We look forward to contributing to the work of the FPC to further advance faster payments in the United States. Okay, so now that is about, you know, dollar-to-dollar -dollar settlement, the way they're painting that there in domestic settlement. Don't necessarily see the immediate need for XRP back-end use, but this is all positive to me, and they could certainly choose to. Let's be, let's be clear. They could certainly choose to if they wanted to, but they got enough liquidity dollar-to-dollar -to, -dollar to settle domestically in the States. The good news to me here is this. This is a huge sign that they're rolling towards the entire rollout of how they're going to handle all of this. Now, it would make sense to me even if they did decide domestically to use XRP back end because it would provide an enormous amount of liquidity between the between the, the dollar settlement, even though they're liquid enough to do it. We'll have to see wait to see what happens. But it would appear that they're going to go dollar to dollar settlement on domestic stuff. So... All right, so here's XRP Crypto Wolf again. 
who also followed up on this as well. Let's see if this uh, has any different. Uh, they will actively participate in FPC's work to facilitate faster payments in the U.S., enabling Americans to securely pay anyone, anywhere, at any time with near immediate funds availability. Okay, so there we go. It's the same article. We know that. So, okay, so we got that. Now let's go back up and listen to this gentleman. Courtesy to Alex Cobb, who shared this, and I've shared it somewhere deeper down in my thread, but I'm always retweeting everything to keep it current when I want to discuss it later on in the channel. So let's take a listen to this real quick. And I, I agree with Alex Cobb on this. Uh, holy wow. Oh, my God. Every XRP investor should watch this video. And you really should. This person settles it. And I remember the uh, hearing when it got set. So uh, let's talk about this right we now. We have Visa Debit. We have MasterCard. We have SWIFT, Fedwire, the ACH system. All true. All have private sector participation in them and government participation. But this idea that there's a new rail created that's a blockchain rail that both bank and non-banks can participate in to settle transactions through a token, it's coming our way faster than we like, perhaps faster than the five-year time frame you outlined. So I do think it's an important issue for the FSOC to continue to consider and also to have Treasury's view on independent of what uh, your agent over at the Federal Reserve uh, thinks as you implement Article One's power on uh, currency. Pretty darn interesting. Thank you to Leon Steer and Alex Cobb for sharing that again. Uh, listen, let's go right back here. I want you to hear this. And to settle transactions through a token and participate in, bank and non-banks can participate in, to settle transactions through a token, it's coming our way faster than we like. There this idea that there's a new rail created that's a blockchain rail that both bank and non-banks can participate in to settle transactions through a token. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Anybody has been following this channel for a long time, this is exactly what I've been saying. I believe that the Interledger Protocol along with quite possibly the XRP ledger, will be deemed a public good just as the Internet is. That way they can have an open, permissionless, decentralized network protocol that can actually help to centralize an industry and bring a bedrock, a super highway to it. He's talking exactly what I talk about all the time. A major, major protocol or a highway, a rail, that everything crosses or touches. You know who else I've had this conversation with? Professor Dr. Chris Brummer. That's who. I've had this conversation with him. I've had this conversation with David Schwartz. I've had this conversation with a lot of you in this stream night after night. In order to get the maturity and integrity into this market, you are going to need a bedrock, a rail that can be the trusted rail that every other private network and coin can run across or private business, company, bank, financial payment provider, e-commerce company, you name it, can plug into and be able to interact with as far as payments go in order to create the kind of level of integrity, security, right, and regulation that is needed. Remember, looking at the current internet we have now, we have the internet of information, right? And we have the legit legal internet. And then there's still the dark web out here that people go on. We're about to see the legitimizing move through regulation throughout the globe and here in the United States that's going to really legitimize this entire market. And I think the way you come about doing that isn't simply just with a definition of cryptos. It's not simply a definition and a classification of cryptocurrencies. It's going to come along with somebody, somebody's, entities, regulatory bodies, oversight groups, 
coming out with some kind of a decision to deem the inner ledger protocol, possibly along with the XRP ledger, a public good or so important that it gets a separate classification and used as a real rail for everything to touch, cross, or transact with for security, traceability, right? Integrity of the system and tax structure. Just to name a few. That's what I'm talking about and you're seeing it happen here. Now let's go up and look at a few things that we saw from earlier, uh, which are very, very interesting. Now, <clears throat> this came with, uh, let me see here. I want to say that... Uh, Stuart has been on fire today, just really sharing some great stuff. Let me keep going here. I want to stay on task for a second here, guys. Um, okay, so let me get to this because this is interesting. Now look at this. This is going back to October to December of one year ago. Okay? October and December of a year ago. This is from Michael Mellon from Mellon Bank. Uh, this is where they all the companies, who are they? All the companies and people who participated in the Faster Payments Task Force wrote letters encouraging the Faster Payments Task Force and the Faster Payments uh, Council, all of those entities, to get it together and either use Ripple or recommended just getting with the new system that has been suggested from all the work done previously. Uh, let's see. Good evening. I am writing to express my support for real-time bank-to-bank settlement solution. As the board is aware, the current system SWIFT dates back to the 70s. and is not as efficient as modern technology would allow. SWIFT takes days to settle and requires the use of Nostra Vostra accounts, which tie up large sums of money. Alternatively, Ripple has recently released a product, XRapid, which allows for settlement almost instantaneously. Additionally, XRapid uses a digital token called XRP, which would settle the liquidity concerns you reference. To reiterate, I strongly support the board in considering and hopefully implementing a settlement solution. I recommend that you consider Ripple's product, XRP. Thank you, Michael Mellon. Uh-huh. Bit of a big deal on that one. Now, I'm going to follow this up. I'm not going to show you every single one, but shout out to, I think it was a, and I'm going to try to find his name. One second. So the, here's another uh, recommendation to update the payment system. They don't mention to be specific, full disclosure. These next few that I'm going to show you do not recommend Ripple specifically, but recommend getting with the updated payment system and getting on board for innovation. And that obviously is Ripple and XRP is the recommendation. Okay, so this one here, CBIA, Community uh, Bank Service Corporation, and let's keep this going. All right, now ETA, uh, Electronic Transfer Association, uh, here we go. And I'm just going through a few of these. Uh, uh, da, 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 let's see, all right, this is uh, another member from the CBI, CBAI, excuse me. Um, I, don't, I don't see exactly who it is. Uh, let's see. Here's another one here. Uh, Federal Reserve, right? And it's people asking, uh, let's see who it is at the end of the letter here. See exactly who it is. Respectfully submitted. Amazon, Apple, Google, Intuit, PayPal, Square, Stripe. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Right? Here's another one, a letter, right, from Cities for Financial Empowerment Fund, right? Here's another one here from President and CEO uh, Alicia Freeman. Let's see. Let's keep it going because I just pulled a couple of these from the list that the person had pulled down. And shout out to them. I'm going to find them in a second here. Um, go to the bottom here. President, Chief Executive Officer of the Clearinghouse Payments Company. Yeah, heard of them. Yep. Coming down here. 
uh, regulatory affairs lead, and it doesn't it doesn't see exactly what company it is or PLS. Do you get CLS Bank uh, International? I'm just trying to move through these quickly. R3. These are all recommendations to move up on payments. I'm just moving through these quickly because you get the you get the drift, right? We know that R3 uses the quarter settler. The quarter settler uses digital asset XRP. Okay, this is one from Walmart recommending to upgrade to the new faster RTGS settlement payments, domestic and international. Uh, let's see. Just moving through this to get down to the bottom. Michael Cook. Here we go. And let me get to this. Uh, comments to Fed already supporting interbank settlements. And this just uh, really is, if, if you're going to that, it shows you basically all of these comments. Okay, and then here is the actual pr print up from the Federal Reserve in the proper documents itself. I'm not going to go through and bore you guys read all this. It's not boring, actually. It's It shows the layout. You can get it. Sender, recipient, how it moves all through, the whole bit, right? not going to give you all of that but you guys know where to find all this information all right so let's see uh coming down here this is nacha right big deal nacha appreciates the opportunity to provide comments in response to the request uh and let's see here let's go back to here let me get this pulled open and i think this was actually um under one of these posts here, and I'm trying to remember, I think it was under this one here, if I remember correctly. I just want to give the person credit that had shared those. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let me see. I'm just trying to find the uh, person who actually wrote it. It was Samir, I think it was Shamur Samir or something of that nature. Let's see if I not now had it. I'm trying to remember who it was, and I can't remember. Forgive me, whoever it was that shared it. Uh, let's see if it's in here. I'm just looking for the person's name to give them credit, and I can't remember now. But it was like Shamor, Samir, or something like that. And forgive me, I know I'm train wrecking your name because I can't find the thread again. But I will shout you out properly on the live stream when I find it tonight for the live stream. But there you have it, guys. Listen, this whole talk about being years away from something is a bunch of malarkey to me. I got to be honest with you. That's not what I see at all. What I see is intentional misdirection. And that's the polite version. I see intentional misdirection here. So this is something to take with you. Uh, this is coming on a lot faster than any of us think. It may not feel that way day to day, especially if you're somebody who looks at price. But this, to me, is really, really exciting that the Federal Reserve is publicly announcing some of this stuff that we've kind of known for a few years now. So really great stuff. Ear to the ground. Head on a swivel. Guys, keep a lookout for the live stream. I will see you on the next one. Leave the comment below. Hit the like and subscribe. And let's keep this thing going. Thank you guys so much for being here. Take care.